God said it, wrap it up. This whole thing comes down to this. You've been delivered from the clutches of Satan. You've been delivered from hell. Now you're passing through this wilderness. And in this wilderness, there are hard times. It's rough. And uh, things are going to happen. And sometimes it's not real pleasant, just like with the children of Israel who were our example. Uh, but the, the thing that caused the problem for the children of Israel was their disobedience, not acting on what God said. This is the, the heart of what I need to get you to understand. We must act on what God says. Whether we like it or whether we don't, whether we think we can do it or think we can't do it, whether we think we're too shy or too backward, whatever excuses that we tell ourselves, we must act. It is disobedience, it is lack of acting on what God said that kept them out of the promised land. And we are being warned by Paul that the very same thing could happen to us. We got to quit thinking, we got it sewed up. We got to quit thinking. We got that car. Uh, we got to quit thinking. Uh, that's just a neat, lazy float down the river to make it home. Because it's not. The wilderness is a hard place. They went through a lot in the wilderness. It was hard. It was hot. It was dry. It was dusty. There are times they had to walk and wait on water. There are times they had to wait on food. There are times uh, that they had to struggle over hills and over rocks and this and that and everything else. And it's the same thing in our Christian walk. It's going to be the same way. Uh, but what we have to understand and what we have to remember is uh, God said if we hold on, if we listen, if we obey, if we do what we are supposed to do, uh, supposed to do what we're told to do, if we are uh, those obedient children, he will deliver us on the other side. But what I, I need to get more than anything across is, is this. And I'm not pointing fingers at anybody. I'm not calling anybody. I'm not doing anything like that. Uh, but then what the Spirit is giving to me is there are those of us who have gotten pretty lazy in our Christian walk. There are those of us who just want to float through. There are those of us who aren't putting forth any effort. There are those of us who come in here on Sundays and sit down to eat. But when we go back out there during the week, we rise up to play. Everything else matters. Everything else is more important. We're distracted by the toys. We're distracted by the lights. We're distracted by this and that. There are a lot of us that are in that shape and we better shape up and we better understand uh, what the Word of God is telling us. It is these things uh, that can cause us to drop in the wilderness and never make it into the promised land. It is being uh, idolaters, idolaters and putting something else before God that can cause us uh, to drop in the wilderness and never make it into the promised this land. Uh, what the church today needs to understand is God takes this serious. And we need to take this serious. Uh, I don't know any clearer way to put it than, than this. It's not a game. It's not a game. And it's not. Uh, everybody says uh, being a Christian is easy. It ain't. It's a fight. Man. It's a struggle. The Bible tells us so. But you know what else it says? No man of worth entangleth himself with the things of the world. We're too entangled mm -hmm. with everything else. Yep. Church, it's time to get serious with God. This ain't about your jump, your shout, your cry your feel good. It's not about that. It's about obedience to the Father. It's about obedience to God. It's about doing what He has called us to do. Being what He has called us to be. Rising above. I'm, I'm just about done. I want to just throw this at the end. And I know you hear it probably almost every Sunday. I want you to look, think about the early church. The church in the book of Acts. How much different were they than everybody around them? Now I want you to think about us. How much different are we than everybody around us? Not so much. 
we aren't to be. Like I said, I had a lot more scripture about the national. So 